someone asked me if palm kernel oil was great for hair growth and i took the question back to my grandmother so if i'm creating this content it means yes it is okay hello and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back today i'm going to share my experience with using palm kernel oil on my hair it was a great experience so i hope you watch this video till the end i'm sure you're going to enjoy it i was actually looking for the unrefined palm kernel oil which is black but i couldn't get it so i went in for the refined uh, version but it's still good it's still great and i decided to use it as a hot oil treatment to maximize its effect so i measured the quantity that i thought was going to be enough for my hair and i heated it in a double boiler and now i'm pouring it into this container to ease application i did some reading and found that this oil is particularly rich in vitamins e a and k and that it also has other good stuff for the hair of course i asked my grandma how they use this oil for hair growth but the hot oil treatment was not her recommendation i actually did this because i know how great and effective hot oil treatments are so i started by uh, misting my hair with hot water this is actually hot water in this bottle and i i used the hot water to relax my hair and help me maneuver it without breaking the hair so the first thing after uh, softening the hair with hot water is to divide it into sections after partitioning my hair and finally having a section to work with i spread hot water on the section before going in with the oil the hot water helps to open up the hair cuticles and makes my hair ready to to receive the oil treatment guys using this oil on my hair felt so good you can tell from this smile that i'm actually feeling it and I really mean no offense, but I would choose this oil over coconut oil. I mean, just after the first use, I can make such conclusions. So I'll choose this palm kernel oil over coconut oil for my hair, okay? For my hair. So I generously apply the oil on my scalp, on the length of my hair, and on the ends of my hair. And then I use my scalp brush to massage my scalp a little bit went in with a white tooth comb and brushed the hair then uh, i put the section in a twist and i went on to do the same for the rest of my hair hot oil treatments actually strengthen hair strands and protects them from future breakage uh, they equally repair damaged hair and also prevent split ends they reduce freeze and flyaways and they equally restore vibrancy and shine to the hair. I've been doing oil treatments lately and they are extremely beneficial. So I will recommend them any day to anyone. Alright guys, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the oil on the rest of my hair. Then we'll talk about my grandma's narrative about using a uh, palm color oil on the hair. I'm almost done. <laughs> Please be careful when using this oil on your hair. Don't let it get into your eyes. It actually burns like it hurts. <laughs> when I was done applying the hair, the oil on my hair, I used a plastic bag to cover the hair and left it on for one hour before washing it. And after one hour, I went on to shampoo and condition my hair. According to my grandmother, they use palm kernel oil, especially on baby's head, to regularly massage the head and admit hair to grow on the head. But I decided to work on it a little bit, so I, I took a little bit of the palm kernel oil and I mixed it with a little amount of shea butter. And then uh, I used that to uh, seal moisture on my hair because the shea butter was a little bit grainy i melted it and then i added a few drops of uh, peppermint oil and lavender oil then i mixed everything and i used that to seal moisture on my hair that is uh after washing my hair i went in with the leave-in conditioner and then i used the 
palm kernel oil mixed with shea butter to seal that moisture in my hair. Both shea butter and palm kernel oil are heavy oils. They act as great sealant. Okay, they contain antioxidants, vitamins, especially A, E, and K, and other elements that softens, conditions, and moisturizes the hair. And this combo adds luster to the hair and gives a luxurious feel. Like just the palm kernel on its own and even shea butter on its own gives a luxurious feel to the hair and to the scalp so this combo is actually luxury it is so soothing for the hair and for the scalp so basically i just uh, went in with leave-in conditioner then i used this combo to seal the moisture in my hair then as per my grandma's recommendation i applied the oil on my scalp and i massaged my scalp all right so this palm kernel oil used to be my body oil for a very long time like i used this oil for a very long time i'm sure some of you can actually relate to that I left my hair to air dry then I went on to thread the hair. I've been consciously trying to retain length on my hair and this method has been helping a great deal. Okay, Irrespective of whether a product grows here or not, our hair will continue to grow so I think that our focus should be on retaining length and this African threading method is one protective style that will help you to retain length. Okay. When I thread right down to the ends of my hair, I create a knot that can be easily untied by pulling the extra thread and this actually saves my hair and keeps it protected and I'm able to retain length. Like I mentioned earlier, this oil is actually very soothing for the scalp, so I've been using it to keep my scalp lubricated. To take down this protective style, I just pull the extra thread hanging after the knot and that's just it. It's so easy to take down. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.